A new poll by Nanos Research found that half of Canadians who have a mortgage are concerned or somewhat concerned about making payments. Just over 35% want the House of Commons to prioritize the cost of living. More than 13% say that health care needs to be a priority, while another 13% want the focus to be on housing. And on immigration, 61% want Canada to accept fewer immigrants, while 26% say that the country should accept about the same number as last year. Joining us now for more on this is Nick Hill, mortgage agent and host of the Canadian Real Estate Investor Podcast. Nick, uh, let's focus on mortgages. Thanks so much for joining us, first of all. Uh, So what a way to start the new year, uh, talking about the big worries and concerns, the woes that Canadians have. Uh, Let's talk about mortgages and the fact that this survey showed that so many people across this country are so concerned. Is this what you're seeing with your clients? Yeah, totally. I mean, it's no secret that uh, mortgage rates have been going up with the Bank of Canada's rate hiking cycle, one of the most aggressive hiking cycles in history. Uh, You know, that being said, don't forget a mortgage is broken up into two parts, principal and interest. And it's actually the interest portion that Canadians are paying off. Interest uh, payments have gone up 90% since the Bank of Canada started its rate hiking cycle. And you know, if you look at the Nanos poll survey, you realize that it's basically the 50% of people that are worried about it are people from 18 to 54, whereas people 55 and older that likely own a home or have a much smaller mortgage payment and aren't really in the thick of it right now seem to be a bit more relaxed about the situation. Now, unfortunately, I wish I had better news. The situation is likely I know it's painful now. It's likely only going to get a little bit worse. There are 2.2 million mortgages up for renewal between 2024 and 2025, many of which were signed at, you know, the rock bottom rates we saw in the last few years, you know, stuff in the ones and the twos. And a lot of those people will unfortunately have to go back and renew at a five, six or even seven percent which which is tough due to you know what we've seen with inflation the other costs the other rising costs of living um and more obviously mortgages make up a massive uh part of canadian debt being it's likely the biggest uh liability being the biggest amount of debt that canadians have um and just to further that point canadians are already quite in debt for every dollar of disposable income that Canadians have, uh, they're one dollar and eighty-two cents in uh, credit market debt. So it's just kind of a compounding effect that uh, that unfortunately is is not going to be pretty for for a lot of people. Are there some solutions out there for people who are concerned about their upcoming renewals? Yeah, I mean, there's there's not really a one size fits all. Um, you know, I, everyone's probably heard this a million times. Cut back on spending. That's the obvious one that people are probably already doing. I myself have have uh, have done that as well. The other thing is talk to your mortgage agent, your broker, your lender. Be proactive about it. I've I've said this before when I've been on here, and um and you know it's. Don't take the first rate, the first early renewal that they offer. Go back and negotiate. Um, They don't want to be in the business of real estate. They want to keep you around as a customer. So go and uh, and make the banks and the lenders and the mortgage agents and brokers out there work for you. And and again, my the best piece of advice I can give is is be proactive about it. Uh, You know, there are a lot of talks in the industry and in the media about rate uh, cuts coming this year. Um, it's a little too early to know when or what those will look like. Uh, I can see them happening. I'm just not sure if they'll have a meaningful enough impact. Uh, But when you're dealing with small percentages that equal hundreds of dollars a month or thousands in some cases, uh, you know, every, every dollar counts. Nick Hill, mortgage agent and host of the Canadian Real Estate Investor Podcast. Thanks so much for taking the time today.